toes. Or even her back feet. Sometimes she turns around and kicks him with her back feet. So that is why male leopards and male lions, and in fact most of the panthera species that have this approach to mating, will, the males will grab the back of the female's neck. And if we have a look at the back of her neck, we can guarantee that we will see it coated with saliva and a little bit clumped together and uncomfortable looking. They, the males sometimes even draw blood when they grab the back of the female's neck like that. It's not a gentle process, feline mating. And the reason behind that is because it gives the best genetics a chance to take over. And what I mean by that is because of the protracted period, the female has a better chance of A, mating with several males, tricking them into thinking they're the father, and B, the best chance of the strongest male fertilizing, fertilizing her after mating. So she has, her ovulation has to be induced. It gives time for the best male candidate in the area to make his way in and mate. Where is Tingana, I wonder? He's not going to be happy about this particular scenario. But perhaps he is otherwise occupied. Tingana is the dominant male leopard in this area. Shaman, I think we can let poor old Brent off the hook now. He's been standing by waiting for these leopards to pop out and they keep going flat. I don't know if he still wants to come in, if he still wants to come in and join us, in which case he's more than welcome, since it's just us. Oh, he's welcome to move on. I can't imagine he's having a ball sitting on the road, waiting for them to come to him. Vula, you're looking exhausted, hey boy? Been a long few days. This is absolutely marvellous. It sounds as though I've just heard Brent's engine start up. It sounds as though he is moving on once again. There he is. Bye. <laughs> so he was not far from us at all. Oh, is she going to make another approach? Or is she just seeking out a more comfortable patch of shade? The white tail twitching. I always get the impression with leopards, whenever I see them mating, I always get the impression of slight bitterness and frustration on both sides in that their solitude has been intruded upon. And there's always a sort of a, a feeling as though they really don't appreciate each other's company that all that much. Instinct has brought them together. But leopards, by nature, prefer to be alone, particularly the males. I think she's just picking her way into a shady spot. She's also very hungry. They both are. They've got empty bellies and a flap of skin showing, which is almost inevitable with a mating couple like this. They don't really stop to eat. They doze, but they don't really eat or hunt. Sometimes they do, if the opportunity presents itself, but they don't actively go searching for food. And that means that by the end of five days, frequent activity, they find themselves very hungry and quite tired. Here we go, in again. see that fury. Sorry, we tried to get the try to get the branches out of the way, but that was over quicker than I thought it would be. Grrr. Meal school. Cross. Could see there that brief swat at his face. That was so funny. Did you see Abula's response there? No, lady. Not again. Not right now. <laughs> he just gave her such an angry look. Teeth yellow canines bared.
and hello to James and welcome on our sunrise safari. You want to know how many females the male cats mate with before they are finished? Oh, it depends on what you mean by, by finished. Um, a, male, a male leopard or a male lion has a, a brief tenure where they are dominant and able to mate with a female in the area. And that, or the, the several females in their territory, because a male leopard's territory is larger than a female's. That means that a male leopard's territory could encompass three females, or even more so, in certain areas, three or four females. They'll come into estrus every couple of weeks and until they fall pregnant, at which point they won't come back into estrus for another at least a year, up to a year and a half. So, sure, how many times... I mean, a male leopard mates about 500 times each time a female goes into estrus. And he'll mate with as many different females as he can encounter. We've got a case here of a male, a dispersal male, mating with a female, so he doesn't even have a territory. And what I'm trying to say, James, in a long and unintentionally convoluted way, is I have absolutely no idea. It depends on the individual leopard, it depends on the circumstances. You're probably looking at about... 15 individuals that a male leopard will encounter and mate with, if, that would probably be the maximum in a high leopard density area. Mvula has mated with Shuluva, Karula, um, Itandi, or, oh, hello, she's going again. Told you leopards is very frequent. Oh, shame boy, such a plaintive look. The sounds of a leopard mating pair are just incredible. <laughs> and that's what I heard ages ago when I got out on the road and said to you, there's tracks of leopard, well, there's tracks of something. But my brain was a bit slow on the uptake. <laughs> it's just these gentle rumbling growls emanating from both of them. That's what I mean when I say they're, they're terribly unimpressed with each other. But I suppose when mating is as discomforting as it is for both parties, you cannot expect them to be terribly enthusiastic. We're going to reposition and see if we can't.